Howdy folks, I am Ruskiel, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last one, we attempted to solve we attempted to solve the murder uh, and the mystery behind the first victim's uh, murder in the arcade game, where I uh, consequently had a hissy fit over the fact that I forgot about a half a about a quarter of a piece of conversation that I read about two weeks ago. Um, because I, because I got fixated on how, how it looked like the, the murder had been carried out versus what actually happened. Uh, anyway, in this one, we're transitioning into the uh, events that transpired regarding Mahiru's murder, and linking that back to the game, or maybe, or maybe not. It might be a trap, as suggested. The true killer played the game and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up Fuyuhiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru and used the game motive as their cover? Isn't that what happened, Hiyoko? Oh, you're straight up accusing her. Huh? Don't you understand? I'm saying you might be the true killer. <laughs> what is this? Like, I can only laugh. What are you even saying, you nasty toilet-clogging bitch? Alright, so, we're gonna have to argue that she didn't do it, or maybe that she did. Shower room, iron barred widow, the footprints. The footprints are pretty convincing, I'll give you that. So, we'll see what, ha we'll see what this is about. What are you saying, you four-eyed troll? Accusing me of killing Mahiru. Yeah, that's pretty harsh, especially considering, uh, she really doesn't seem like it. Why do you doubt Hiyoko? Do you know where Hiyoko was today? The scene of the crime. Well, the footprints kind of prove it. No, oh, you... I I almost said a very bad word there. <laughs> the, um, let's just uh, go back to that statement. We know that uh, we know that she was there. I better use my focus on this one. And see the crime. Okay, here we go. Didn't go. Gotcha. That one's easy enough. That one's not too bad. Wait a minute. You should have been at the beach house, Hiyoko. Seriously, I told you I didn't. But these footprints in the sand in front of the beach house. Aren't they yours? And we totally saw you running away from there. I don't have such ugly footprints. You're probably Mikans based on how ugly they are. And don't decide that based on ugliness. Huh. They're not Hiyoko's footprints? Well, that's strange. Uh, the footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo. Plus... The footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. Which means, when the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. A different... A different entrance? Are you talking about the door facing the road that Mahira's body was leaning against? Are you saying that person went inside the beach house that the body hadn't appeared yet? The door was still accessible when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means, something happened in between those two events. Isn't that right, Hiyoko? Ah! I remember now! I remember when I went to the beach house! Hmm! <laughs> so you finally decided to confess? I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I've never heard of that daily routine before. And that's when I went to the beach house. I went there on my morning walk. I see. If you didn't, if you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Don't Brett leave her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie. People who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? <laughs> There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that. Alright, prove that she's lying, that she went there, footprints on the beach, the metal bath, the shower room, the art barn window, and the letter to Mahiru. Letter Mahi to Mahiru seems pretty convincing. 
or at least the letter that we found on the Hulu. So, we'll use this. I did go to the beach house, but only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mihiru at the beach house? Obviously not. Hmm. Uh, shoot. Never even saw her, or... Or whatever the first one. Hyakul said she never saw Mahiro, but is that really true? Um, let me go back and take a look at the letter to Mahiro real quick. Seems... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with the letter for Mihiru, and I'm thinking we'll go with that last statement. Did go to the beach house, but only during my morning walk. Oh, frel. And... Okay. Never even saw him. Wait, really? That wasn't it? Hmm. Okay, that surprises me. Hmm. Okay. Prove that she saw her. Metal bat. No. She went during the morning. Did she? Because we know when she... Because we saw her running away, but we can't use that as evidence at this point. Iron Bard Wind. The letter to Mihiru didn't work here. Never saw her. Footprints on the beach. She's saying they were made earlier that morning. Hmm. Well, maybe we just... Uh, maybe we just argue the morning point. Okay, I guess it's the morning point. I would think that the second one would also work, technically, because she's saying, hey, I want to meet. But it, uh, again, it wasn't addressed to Mihiru. Okay. Only during your morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30pm. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret until then. Let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Yoko's Island G. <sighs> that letter is the one Mahiru had, right? I see! So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. What is that letter? I'm serious. I don't know. Aw, oh, snap. I remember now. I totally saw you. Huh? Me and Ka- Me and Kazu- Me- Me and Kazuichi. Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. I don't even know why we had to have an argument when we could have just done that, but whatever. I see. So if she met Mahiru at 2.30 p.m., killed her, then ran away afterward. I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed Hiyoko. You're wrong! You're totally wrong! Now that you mention it, you also passed by the diner, Fuihiko. So you should have seen Hiyoko too, right? No, I didn't. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. It's the truth. Deal with it. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. Anyway, that letter and Kazuichi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiru at the beach house. Seriously, I don't know. I don't even write that letter. I'm telling the truth. I really, I really don't know. Is she really crying? Or is she faking it? She's probably faking it. 
We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet so the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. Okay. You know what I just noticed? Paco's got a lot to say this trial. An awful lot to say this trial. Mm -hmm. There's evidence for that, too. Hmm, the only place I can think of where Hyoko was hiding is probably that place, right? Spot the selection. Uh, here we go. The closet. Because we found the gummy in there. Yeah. She's... This is, uh, taking a... I still don't think Kyoko did it. I know that's where the case is going, but I don't think she did it. The place where Kyoko is hiding, are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. Kyoko, your favorite candy is gummies, correct? What? It's a gummy! I've... Never eaten something like that before. Ha ha ha! I have captured the true character of this mystery! Hiyoko, who summoned my hero to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar! When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. But Hiyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beachside door and, ed and ended up leaving her footprints. Ha ha ha! We have presented the proof! My four Dark Devils of Destruction didn't even need to come out! It's a trap! This is obviously someone's trap! Who's someone? Whose trap is it? It must be that one person. You know, the one with the mask. Maybe? The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer. You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask. It's your brain friend, brain fried or something? Uh, that's right. It cannot be Hiyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice. And here we're going to get off on a tangent. A tangent? that I believe calls for a bit of a break. So, in the next one, we're going to go ahead and uh, delve into whatever uh, side discussion that we're going to have here. So, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.